Claudius Aelianus, commonly Aelian, born at Pronest, was a Roman author and teacher of rhetoric who flourished under Septimius Severus and probably outlived Elagabalus, who died in 222. He spoke Greek so fluently that he was called honey-tongued, Roman-born, he preferred Greek authors, and wrote in a slightly archizing Greek himself. His two chief works are valuable for the numerous quotations from the works of earlier authors, which are otherwise lost, and for the surprising lore, which offers unexpected glimpses into the Greco-Roman worldview. It is also the only Greco-Roman work to mention Gilgamesh. On the nature of animals, on the characteristics of animals is an alternative title, Ancient Greek, Pi Epsilon Rho Zeta Omega Nu Delta Iota Tau Eta Tau Omicron Sigma, Perizone Idiotitos, usually cited, though, by its Latin. Title, De Natura Animalium, is a curious collection, in 17 books, of brief stories of natural history, sometimes selected with an eye to conveying allegorical moral lessons. Sometimes because they are just so astonishing, the Loeb Classical Library introduction characterizes the book as Elian's anecdotes on animals rarely depend on direct observation. They are almost entirely taken from written sources, often Pliny the Elder, but also other authors and works now lost, to whom he is thus a valuable witness. He is more attentive to marine life than might be expected, though, and this seems to reflect first-hand personal interest, he often quotes fishermen. At times he strikes the modern reader as thoroughly credulous, but at others he specifically states that he is merely reporting what is told by others, and even that he does not believe them. Elian's work is one of the sources of medieval natural history and of the bestiaries of the Middle Ages. The portions of the text that are still extant are badly mangled and garbled and replete with later interpolations. Conrad Gessner, the Swiss scientist and natural historian of the Renaissance, made a Latin translation of Elian's work, to give it a wider European audience. An English translation by A. F. Schofield has been published in the Loeb Classical Library, three volumes. Dot. Title page of Varia Historia, from the 1668 edition by Tanaquil Faber Various History for the most part preserved. Only in an abridged form, is Elian's other well-known work, a miscellany of anecdotes and biographical sketches, lists, pithy maxims, and descriptions of natural wonders and strange local customs, in 14 books, with many surprises for the cultural historian and the mythographer, anecdotes about the famous Greek philosophers, poets, historians, and playwrights and myths instructively retold. The emphasis is on various moralizing tales about heroes and rulers, athletes and wise men, reports about food and drink, different styles in dress or lovers, local habits in giving gifts or entertainments, or in religious beliefs and death customs, and comments on Greek painting. Elian gives an account of fly fishing, using lures of red wool and feathers, of lacquer work, serpent worship, essentially the various history is a classical magazine in the original senses of that word. He is not perfectly trustworthy in details, and his agenda was heavily influenced by Stoic opinions, perhaps so that his readers will not feel guilty, but. Jane Ellen Harrison found survivals of archaic rites mentioned by Elian very illuminating in her prolegomena to the study of Greek religion. The first printing was in 1545. The standard modern text is Mervyn R. Diltz's, of 1974. Two English translations of the various history, by Fleming and Stanley made Elian's miscellany available to English readers. But after 1665 no English translation appeared, until three English translations appeared almost simultaneously, James G. Devoto. Claudius Elianus, Pi Omicron Iota Kappa Lambda Eta Sigma Sigma Tau Omicron Rho Alpha Sigma Chicago, 1995, Diane Ostrom Johnson, an English translation of Claudius Elianus Varia Historia, 1997, and N. G. Wilson, Elian, Historical Miscellany in the Loeb Classical Library. Considerable fragments of two other works, On Providence and Divine Manifestations, are preserved in the early medieval encyclopedia, the Suda. Twenty letters from a farmer after the manner of Alsafron are also attributed to him. The letters are invented compositions to a fictitious correspondent, which are a device for vignettes of agricultural and rural life, set in Attica, though mellifluous Elian once boasted that he had never been outside Italy never been aboard a ship. Thus conclusions about actual agriculture in the letters are as likely to evoke Latium as Attica. The fragments have been edited in 1998 by D. Domingo Foraste, but are not available in English. The letters are available in the Loeb Classical Library, translated by Alan Rogers Benner and Francis H. Phobes. Greek with English translation Latin translation Greek. Thanks for watching.